The Tudors heading at this game off the back of a balmy 4-3 win over Braintree Town in which goals from Tafik Alamowe, Matty Bateman, Jake Evans and an own goal sealed Hembel's first league win of the season. And then Jamie O'Hara's men meanwhile have failed to win a league game this season and have only scored two goals all season. So they'll obviously be looking to turn this around while Lee Bertrand's men are also going to be looking to build on that win. On Saturday, uh, Billy Ricky out now warming up and I'm going to take you through the home lineup. So it's one change from uh, Saturday, so in goal it is Dean Snedker, and then it's Nathan Carlisle, Luke Pennell replaces Kyle Ajay, Chris Paul, uh, whose suspension doesn't start yet, so he gets to play this evening, then it's Ryan Kinane, Tafik Olomowe, uh, Stephen Duke McKenna, Adi Cole, uh, Matty Bateman, Jake Evans and Reggie Young, and on the bench for the Tudors is Danny Bonas, Kyle Ajay, Jake Howells, JJ Lacey and Sadiq Balarabi. And the visitors line up in goal. Number one is Dion Curtis Henry. Number three is Chevron McLean. Number five in captain is Ronnie Henry. Number seven is Shamia Fenlon. Number eight is Doug Loft. Number nine is Jake Robinson. Number 10 is Jai Reason. Number 11 is Josh Hutchinson. Number 15, Laurie Wilson. Number 18, Luke Wanadio. And the subs are Michael Chambers, Ruben Suarez Jr., Tosoy Olasua. Kyle Reed and Lewis Knight. Addy Cole's got a gonna take a free kick and well the two score from a very similar position here. Cole drives it in, it's a good ball. It's to, oh it's just over the bar. I think it was, would have been an own goal. Ducked by Reggie Young is. And Young wins aside a throw in that he leaves for Pennell and Pennell quickly takes it back to Paul. Paul then tries the brilliant ball through to Bateman it might drop for Duke McKenna here's Duke McKenna he took a bit of a loose touch cuts inside one man Duke McKenna all over the bar just he created the space brilliantly cut inside his man very very easily and then he's gone for that top corner and he's missed it by what a couple of inches or so Curtis Henry plays it forward Hutchinson beaten in the air but it drops to Juan Adeo. straight away Duke McKenna back at it back out Wanadeo and then this is McLean now McLean finds Wanadeo Wanadeo drives the ball in low and all them away and it's deflected it's a goal for uh, Billy Ricky Town they take the lead and I believe it is uh, Shamir Fenlon with a goal I don't think Wanadeo got his cross right at all no, not but at all. in the end it's hit on Moway and ran through for Fenlon and he sticks it in and uh, it is 1-0 to the Ricky so this is going to be reason to deliver this one in then. Drives it in. It's a good ball and it's punched up in the air. It's going to drop. Young heads it away and it's smashed into the net by Jake Robinson. And it is 2-0 to Billy Ricky Town. Very, very short succession. Goals flying in from uh, Jamie O'Hara's men. It's a great finish from Robinson. guess it wasn't the best header away by Reggie Young, but it's a good finish by Jake Robinson. Fenlon finds Hutchinson. It's an absolutely ridiculous challenge by Olam Horway he's wiped out Jay Robertson there and uh, I mean I'll be very very surprised that's not yellow guard I can already see a man getting warmed up for the Tudors looks like it's Kyle Ajay so well could, that could be Yellow Horway to be honest now because he's only okay. yellow okay. finds Paul Paul looking to swing one into the box Bateman there it's going to drop for Reggie Young who's going to try and beat his man to it does Fenlon did well not to touch him there because could have been a penalty. And in the end, cross into the back post. Headed over by Evans. Oh, what a save by Curtis Henry. Great save. It's a great save by Curtis Henry. Evans rising high, gets a good strong head on it. And Curtis Henry tips it over the bar. Got Evans alongside him as well. Slipped it. Beautiful ball through for Paul. Paul tackled brilliantly in the end there. Great tackle. Fantastic challenge. Half-time whistle's going to go at the wrong time for the Tudors, you'd think, to be honest. The momentum's all with them now. Addy Cole picks it up. Goes for goal. It hits Matty Bateman, and it's gone in. And it's a goal for Hemel Hempstead. They've got one back. It's Addy Cole hitting it off. Matty Bateman, and it's 2-1. Yeah, back in it. Yeah, appeals for handball from, from Billy Ricky, but the referee's just po pointing at his shoulder. Yeah. That is exactly what Lee Bertram's men needed. Yeah, I mean, half-time is going to come at the right yeah, time for the Tudors. Yeah, it is indeed. <laughs> so, Matty Bateman's second league goal of the season. Two and two for him. Slightly fortunate, but he'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Addy Cole will very happy claim an assist on that one at the yeah. very least. Yeah, exactly. That's two assists in two, in two games yeah. for Addy Cole as well. Reverses it back into Hutchinson, who slips. It's going to run through here, is it? 
They can't get it away. Reason. It, oh, just over the bar from Reason. Wanadio. Wanadio inside. Looking to play the ball back. And Jim McKenna comes back brilliantly and covers Wanadio. Plays it back across. It's going to run through. It's deflected. And then there's a late challenge. I think it's going to be a penalty for Billy Ricky there. And it's a chance for them to kill the game off as Jake Robertson caught. Silence descends on Vauxhall Road. Referee just making sure there's no encroachment. Up steps Jake Robinson and he rolls it into the bottom corner and it is 3-1 to Billy Ricky. It's a lovely composed penalty. He waited, he watched and he saw where Snedka went and he popped it in the other corner and it is now Hemel Emerson Town 1, Billy Ricky Town 3 and it looks like they're on the way to all three points and the first win of the season. Evans beaten in the air by Felix. Paul picks it up. Paul then fires it in towards Reggie Young who Cuts inside one and then needs some help and slips it into Lacey. Lacey, can he work space for a shot? Lacey is saved by Henry. And then it, in the end, it comes back in the Curtis Henry. But Lacey there, so close to his first MLM said goal. Ball taken quickly and it's one a day. Oh, he's throwing in the tricks. He drives it back across goal and there's Jay Robinson. And he sticks it in the net and it is 4-1 to Billy Ricky. One a day has created the goal and Jay Robinson has grabbed his hat-trick. And that is, well, that is definitely the win sailed now for Jimmy O'Hara's side. It's an absolutely yeah. wonderful cross by Juan Adeo. Shows superb wing play. And, I mean, Jay Robinson cannot miss from there. Balarabi brings it down. Fires it across to Duke McKenna. It's a good ball. McKenna's got time here. What's he going to do with it? He chops inside one. And he hits it. Good save by Curtis Henry in the end. Balarabi in behind. Plays it across. It's going to run through for Lacey. What a save by Curtis Henry that Great is. Save. Unbelievable. It looked like Lacey was going to tap it in. Reggie Young. Young looking to fire a shot in. Curtis Henry with another good save. Gets down low to his left and palms it away to deny Reggie Young and finds Reggie Young. But he's done well there, has Olusua. And there goes the full time whistle. And Billy Ricky Town have their first league win of the season thanks to a Jake Robinson hat trick and a Fenlon goal as well. I mean, in fairness, it was an absolutely ridiculous game of football, really. I mean, there's chances all over. Hemel hit the crossbar twice. Curtis Henry made some very good saves. But in the end, the clinical finishing of the away side saw them take the 4 1 victory.